Hi, I'm Laura Dickinson. Um, I've got three poems to read to you today. First one's a really short one um, called Free School Meals Are on Furlough, so I'll get started. Bolton West walks out, exhausted. Tories gunning Labour, gunning Greens, but no one dies, exhausted by the lies they've been feeding us. But there's nothing else to eat on furlough. Even the half-cooked U-turns will do because we're starving. I'm tired, my stomach rumbling at just the thought of a few scraps of democracy coming my way. Salt and pepper and more salt. Salt until I can't taste my own betrayal. There's something strange about this betrayal, keeping each other safe, when your dad's got his mask off in a shop. Thanks. So um, next one is about my hometown. Um, I'm from Nottingham. Um, but yeah, hopefully anyone uh, Midlands ways will probably relate. This one is not afraid to speak. Union rallied behind me or alone, I will not be made afraid to speak or stand on my own. The silent ones, let our world limp on. But if you don't set the broken bones straight early, they will still grow strong enough to walk on. But the painful problem remains. The unsettling thought of a twisted femur, but you were complicit to this world when you crushed the clouds of an Antifa dreamer. But in the same thought, strong enough to let your dreams walk away from your own monotony. They're still close enough to catch up if you wanted, but I don't think you ever will. Your original Doc Martin boots now set in the concrete that you laid. But I will be disgraced before I set fire to what I believe. I hope you grow a backbone in your sleep. I hope you see the harm in not harming anyone because this is a call to arms. And arms, in the old sense, meant not just filling your empty metal magazines with words, but providing the much-needed arms housing for our homeless. Our veterans, our refugees, our fellow humans, and for all of that, image and ego doesn't matter. You can paint my name red in the streets like they tried with Corbyn, but I would rather fall into disrepute. I would rather fall from grace in your eyes. I would rather fall and be disgraced than mask my face with lies for comfort. For all that we have come from, the smog-filled sky over boots, rally and imperial tobacco will always call home, even though the smog has cleared, and the rubble has been cleared, and our city's conscience has been cleared of tobacco, my roots cannot be uprooted. I, not may, not maybe, not maybe I'll make it through this life unscathed in pursuit of all I know to be true. I will be disgraced. Um, so I'm going to end with a, a slightly more chirpy one now. Um, so this is just um, about Christmas memories. String. Picture rail to picture rail, diagonally. No room for a tree. But the ceiling was filled with baubles, tinsel and little Santas swinging merrily. Your left-handed hook slightly wonky above the door. Your still joyous expression as we both asked, can we put up more? Twinkling lights around your bay window, curtains open, everyone outside looked in. To see your little piece of Christmas, contentment and love in a tin. All I hope for Christmas is that you're happy and at peace. I'll still put up your decorations strung from my picture rails without a tree. Thanks for listening, everyone. Um, so if you liked what you heard, um, you can follow me on YouTube or uh, Instagram under I Will Be Disgraced. Thank you.